Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this morning uh, session. So the first talk is by Ben Albeshausen, and uh, welcome. And the title is Road Completers in Belgium Mapping and Verifying All the Roads. So please. Yes. So uh, hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Well, thank you for showing up this early. Um, so um, I'm going to talk about uh, mapping and verifying all the roads in Belgium. Uh, so let's start with why we are doing this. So OpenStreetMap is about mapping the world, because we can all agree on that subject. So, um, And let's look at the state of the map in Belgium. So we have an excellent base map, so that means we can use the map for uh, as a reference map so we can know where stuff is. Um, we have an excellent transport related data. We, I think we have a good quality road network. We have decent transit data, which means we have all of the bus stops and uh, train stations and stuff like that. We have reasonable land use and we have very basic address coverage. But yeah, how, how are we sure? Uh, how, how do we know? How far along are we? Uh, these are just uh, things I, I, I claim to know, but Nobody really can really confirm this. Uh, so, and what if things change? So, how good are we if things change? Uh, I, have, I have no idea. So, um, <clears throat> that's why we did uh, this. So, road completion. Uh, so, in Belgium, there we have uh, open data. Um, this is only the half of Belgium. We have open data in Flanders. We have uh, this hole here is Brussels. Uh, we have open data there as well, but uh, the the, the, the other side of Belgium, they still need to open up their data. But um, anyway, um, so road completion is about mapping all the roads, but it's not about importing data into OpenStreetMap. Um, it's also not about changing the way we map. So it's very important. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's about this. So completeness, quality assurance, and change detection. So we try to. We try to um, we try to make sure that OpenStreetMap is complete. That OpenStreetMap is is of high quality for uh, well when when it comes to roads. So so what do we do and how do we do this? We compare OpenStreetMap with other data, then we do mapping, um, and then we give feedback. So the feedback part may be a little bit strange. Uh, more on that later. Um, so how does it work? <clears throat> so we compare OpenStreetMap with open data, um, then the community does mapping, and then things can go two ways. So either um, the, 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 the errors or the changes we detect are false, so that means that the open data sets are wrong, which it happens a lot, so uh, it goes into a false positive database, if the open data is right, we correct it in OpenStreetMap. These two loops, the idea is to have these two loops continuously um, updating and to, to make them continuous. Uh, <clears throat> so how do we do this? Uh, we convert the source data. Usually it's shapefiles. It's a government institution, so they, they use shapefiles and they use this weird projection specific to Belgium and blah, 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 blah. So we convert it. Uh, we um, uh, we slice it up into vector tiles, um, and then we use um, this thing called tile, tile reduce to compare all of the tiles, uh, well, relatively fast. So um, at the moment, we have version 0 0.1, which is our first. So we, we started, uh, like, uh, let's start simple. Let's just uh, um, draw buffers around OpenStreetMap. Um, and then see whatever is not below those buffers is stuff we need to check out. So we we have this, um, <clears throat> the result in the end is everything that's not below one of the buffers. So I like GIFs, so this is a GIF of um, what's happening. Um, so we can we draw buffers around OpenStreetMap, we put it on top of the open data, and whatever is not below those buffers is stuff we need to verify and check. So this is one of the results. So we have, yeah, you, we have uh, these little segments that we need to verify. But this is, um, 
Yeah, so in this, in this uh, data set, there are a lot of driveways, more on that later. So this is an example of, uh, of what we get. So in Belgium, we have a lot of these uh, new, yeah, how do I say this in English? So we have, um, we have uh, new roads. So probably this imagery is out of date, but the road is actually there. Uh, or the road is not yet there, but uh, yeah, so this is, this, these are the details we want to fix. Same here, uh, this is, uh, I think probably mappers thought this was a driveway, but it's actually a public road. Uh, so stuff like that happens as well. Um, <clears throat> so uh, about OpenStreetMap and, and more details about why we are doing this, you can see this is a, a visualization of the evolution of the road network from, uh, I think, uh, two. 2008 until uh, the present day. And you can see um, that in the end, we're almost everywhere up until 98% of um, the same road length. So we compare road lengths in all of these little areas. Um, and then this is a very interesting graph or statistic. Thank you, Joost, for doing this. Um, you can see that, and you see this in, in almost every area in Belgium, and I think we can even expand this uh, globally, but uh, not so sure. Um, so you can see that uh, people start mapping roads, 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 roads. And then here in 2013, they say, well, it's complete, uh, but we have this 2% uh, still missing. And the 2% is what we are trying to fix, because they're, they're yeah, they're, there are still roads missing, but uh, I'm not sure why mappers are not catching those that no that two percent. Uh. So what what did we do? Uh, the first run we did, we found thirteen thousand or almost fourteen thousand cases, um, but they were mostly driveways because the open data set can, does not only contain roads but also driveways, which was really annoying. Uh, we had no way of uh, filtering out that data. Um, <clears throat> we put the task on MapRoulette, but we found out that only uh, 1,042 cases were fixed. Um, and uh, yeah, it's difficult to, to, to show people what they need to do. Uh, so because of that, we built something else uh, on top of MapRoulette. Uh, well, not on top of MapRoulette, we built something, uh, something new. We built a very small app developed during Open Summer Code with these awesome students. So you see them, they're awesome. Um, and we, we built this road completion tool um, funded by the Brussels government because they want to, want to map uh, all the roads in OpenStreetMap because they use apps on top of OSM. So they asked us to map to make sure that the road network is complete for Brussels. So let's see, um, <clears throat> let's look at some of the results. So this is the tool we get, and you see here, this is one of the differences we detect, but this is just because OpenStreetMap maps things differently from the open data set. So we, we have a, a, a roundabout here at the end, and yeah. So, but it's correct, but it's still, uh, it's still something it detects as a, a difference. So we also have a lot of false positives. So stuff that makes no sense at all. We're pretty sure there's nothing here. So the open data set is probably incorrect. Um, Also interesting, uh, this is not mapped on OpenStreetMap, but it should be. Uh, it's a small road with a parking area. And this is in Brussels, it's one of the most populated places in Belgium, but we're still missing stuff. So this, uh, these are the 2% we were talking about, about verifying, completing the map. So yeah, this, this, these details are important. So, and then <laughs> I found one example after a, long, after a long search that we actually miss one of the, the actual streets. <clears throat> so, this is not mapped in OpenStreetMap. You see there is a car 
here. So this is definitely a street that should be mapped in OSM, but it's not. Um, so we do so we do detect stuff that's missing. Um, So what, another feature we added is to, so we have mappers mapping in this tool, but they're not going outside, they're not uh, mapping as usual, so they, they should check in the field. But this is uh, something, a uh, feature we added that we can add notes to the map or we can, um, yeah, we can uh, go to OpenStreetMap and discuss changes. So this is a, a road here. There is construction going on, so I thought this person removed the road from OpenStreetMap because it's not accessible anymore. And we started discussing this, and it, it, it turns out that this person lives there, and he checked, this, he checked out this change, so it's, we're, we're doing better in this case. We're doing better in this case than the open data set, because it, this is in the open data set, but it's, but it's not there anymore in real life. So what are our goals? It's to verify the OSM network, and we also want to um, generate quality metrics. We want to do this in the open so anybody can verify and check this and rerun their own stuff so we can prove how awesome OpenStreetMap is and how complete it is. So why are we doing this? So <clears throat> I've, uh, I, I work with OpenStreetMap professionally, uh, and I do routing. And uh, for example, I try to talk to some companies. Let's, well, TomTom Tom in here, <laughs> and uh, I try to buy GPS data from them. And they say, well, um, but we don't want to link our data to an inferior network. For example, that's what they say. They also say. We don't want to, the OSM data, does, the OSM license doesn't allow combining it with our data. That's just not true. It's not true. So they, I, I was, yeah, so they, they, they tried to sell me stories that weren't true. Um, also something you hear a lot for, from in, in, on the business side of OpenStreetMap, anybody can modify OSM, so you must be crazy not to use it. Uh, to use it. Um, and there are, well, there's a lot of this stuff going on. So. We need, to, we need to build trust in the map. So we need to prove that the map is really good. But how do we do that? And our strategy is we compare it with other data and data that's out there. Um, so that's what we try to do. So it's all about quality and consistency. So we try to prove that OpenStreetMap is complete, that we do have all the roads, that you can use it for your use case, even if you're uh, yeah, even if you use it in a, in a logistical application or whatever, so you can, OpenStreetMap is complete, so that's what we want to prove. So imagine if you would actually do this everywhere. So we have a very cheap or costless data source. I say very cheap because doing this does, it's some effort and it costs some money. We, the students were funded by the Brussels government, so it's not like completely costless. So imagine we have this data set, quality checked and verified, almost almost up to date. It's community driven, so who can compete with this? I say, well, almost nobody. So I say we are winning. So that's my talk. Thank you, Ben, for nice talks. There are questions from the public? Yeah. Hi, thank you for, uh, for your presentation. Just have a question about these 2% missing roads. I was just checking on the uh, website, you, you just uh, have a presentation, and it looks like all the red uh, roads belongs to the parking area. It's the first thing, so first of all, mapping them as roads would be a mistake, obviously, but on the other hand, uh, it sells a lot of parking areas are not tagged as a red one, and I believe in lots of cities in uh, Brussels or in uh, Belgium as a Brussels, there are lots of parking area created next to the buildings, so it creates actually a challenge. So it should be consistent. Other all these parking areas should be par uh, should be tagged as a as an area actually, not as a road. But then you're kind of uh, 
creating an issue with that your data set verification is creating all these false positives results. How would you comment about that? Can, can you give the microphone here? Um, because my partner in crime, Joost, is going to answer. <laughs> and, uh, the 2% figure is from Flanders. In Brussels, it's actually only half a percent. So when you have numbers that small, the amount of false positives will be very high among the cases you have. But since it's a very small number, you can just manually review them. So it, I, I think it's quite easy to, to handle. Now, at the 2% in Flanders, there the, the ratio of, of real cases you have to fix is a, a lot higher. Yeah, and they're mostly driveways. Oh. Any other questions? Yeah, Ben, fantastic stuff. Thanks for presenting. Um, two quick questions. One is, do you feedback these false positives uh, to the um, to the government to the uh, official data? Do they do anything with it? Um, the other <laughs> the other question is. Um, uh, so you've tried to use MapRoulette, which I'm happy about. Yeah. Um, do you have any suggestions for making MapRoulette more usable for stuff like this? Yes, because uh, the main reason we use MapRoulette is because we want to build the false positive database. So we cannot just build a map where we, where we have everything on the map and people just fix it, because we also want to feed back false positives and we want to correct the government data. At the moment, we, we do feed this back, but they are so slow, we don't really know if they're actually using it. But we're, we're trying to do this because we believe in, this, in the cooperation between what they are doing and what OpenStreetMap is doing. So why, why not work together and try to form a team? So it's our ambition, but this part is not really happening yet. So it's, it's usually, well, false positive feedback. The reason we don't use MapRoulette is because um, people like to focus on their area as the main reason. And so we, we, we built this tool now to, to have to, so they, they, they see a map. I don't know if, I, let me show again uh, the actual tool. So they see a map and it's red, and the ambition is to clear all the red, and it, talk, it really speaks to people like, if, if in their area there's red, they want to fix it. So that's, yeah. Hello, and thank you for your presentation. Um, is the tool and the, the tool set that you use to generate this data, is that open source? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we, this open summer of code thing we did. Um, uh, so it's all on our GitHub, whatever, I don't know, um, organization for OpenStreetMap Belgium. So we can find everything there, the front end to do this. Uh, the, the back end to compare the data, uh, we use Tippy Canoe and uh, Tile Reduce, so they're open source tools as well. So yes, you can find everything online and do this yourself too, yeah, obviously. Which uh, one of those would have the code? That's, that would be my question. Did, can you say again? Which um, Where's the code? Is it under road completion? Can you grab the code there, or do you go so to the... So the actual code is... Yeah. Uh, uh, I, didn't mean to put you, I ah. didn't mean to put you on the spot here. No, no. It's fine. Yost told me to do it. So we have this. This is a... Uh, so we dockerized everything. So this is all. These are all. This is all the code and the scripts comparing everything from starting from open data to OpenStreetMap. It's this does everything, and we also have a repository for the front end part, which is this one. So yeah. 
Anything else? There are any other questions? May I ask just one thing? Uh, as we did kind of work like this just for experiment, uh, which is the scale of this accuracy? So you consider just one buffer, and how did you fix this buffer for the completion on? You do, I don't know, an increasing buffer to set up also the positional, to tackle also the positional accuracy. Yeah, so this is just uh, version 0 0.1. So yeah. we're just getting started, and we can do so many things. We can compare a lot of, well, yeah, we compare a lot of, we can do a lot of more stuff. We can compare street names, classifications, all of that. But we decided to start with simple stuff. Let's just see if stuff is there or not. And once we, we, we go over the map and we, we can verify and check this part, then we can move on to the more complicated stuff. But uh, yeah, the most important thing is to do quality checks and consistency checks. And our ambition is also to put this on the OpenStreetMap Belgian website, that, that there's a metric that it just says like, okay, we have 99.85% uh, of roads compared to these open data sets, for example. But also the other way around, we can do, we can say like, okay, the open data sets have 89% of the roads in open street. Because if you do the comparison the other way around, you see that they also miss, miss a lot of stuff. So we need to put this online to prove how good OpenStreetMap is. That's the Thank ambition. You. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>